from Los Angeles, please give it up for Dante Bosco. I once knew this girl named Nikki. I guess you could say she was a sex fiend. I mean, she was a dancer. Well, actually, a stripper, and that is to say, to see her naked, you have to pay. Anyway, one night I was in a devious mood, rendezvous with my boys to the club up the street. Live, totally new girls, 10 bucks a head, 18 and over, must have ID. So there I sit in this seedy joint, sipping flat soda, tripping with fear, wondering what would my mom think if she ever caught me here? <laughs> then out comes this girl, petite physique, body was perfect to me, you see. <laughs> then there I was, caught in a moment. I'm looking at her, looking at me, can't turn away. Something strong I sense as she danced, removing articles of clothing off her body, but not once removing her eyes off of me. And I felt that either she was the greatest dancer in the world or somehow we managed to touch something real, a connection. Something pure, something powerful, a purely powerfully animalistic connection. Now let me continue. I want to get in you. Well, let me slow down. See, the show ends and she comes and talks to me, and of course I play the shy role and she bites you, and yo, you don't even know the half of it. See, she wound up at my crib to see if I could take a stab at it, and we get into the dance and we move together and we fit like puzzle pieces, if you know what I mean. Puzzle pieces to an erotic portrait, as it may appear. And then she whispers in my ear, pull my hair. <laughs> and so I do. And then she says, harder, and not at the roots, but at the ends because it hurts more. But I never wanted to hurt her. I want to love her tenderly. But somehow I didn't think she would let me. And then she says, choke me. <laughs> and you know me. I mean, I'm a gentleman, so I try to do it gently. <laughs> And then, and then she says, harder. And I don't know what to do. I mean, all of a sudden, I'm in this RTS and M documentary of some sort with this girl riding me, pushing me to the limits of my sexuality. And I had to stop for a hot second and say, yo, I don't do that. <laughs> and that started the wrestling match as we tossed and tumbled around my bed like two lion cubs that play on the Discovery Channel. Yeah, we was like animals. And then she ran up on top of me again, and she says, hit me. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> But I got to admit, I was a little lit. I mean, hi. On her, see, she intoxicates me. And somewhere in the back of my mind, I say, what the fuck? And with the palm of my hand, I graze the skin on her chin. Oh, so gently still. And she says, harder. And I don't know what to do. I mean, I'm not the kind of guy who hits girls. And I don't even know why this would even be getting her off. But we were playing chess, and she put me in check. So I slapped her on the cheek, and we tore each other apart in the dark until we arrived <laughs> and yo I don't know what she saw but me I was blinded by white lights lying naked next to her quivering we escape ourselves in each other yeah I know a girl named Nikki I guess you could say she was a sex fiend but don't judge her or me it's just a place I've been <laughs>